Hi everyone, I'm back today with another handbag unboxing. I actually received this bag yesterday so I have had it out and had a look at it but because I'm ridiculous I actually packed it all back up again last night so I could open it again today and it would feel like it was brand new. So as I'm going to do that I thought that I would show you guys at the same time. So I actually ordered this bag last week direct from Gucci. Um, I'd sold one of my other bags that I knew that I wasn't going to use and I used that money to put towards this um, and I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. So this is the bag it came in. When you order from Gucci Direct they actually send you a shopping bag as well so it looks like it came direct from the store. So this is the bag that it comes in. And this is the Gucci box. I have to lay it on its side so it fits in the screen. Uh, this actually had the black ribbon around it as well, but it was too much of a faff to put it back on, so you have to pretend it's on there. So this is one of the magnetic boxes. And then it came with my receipt. There's a little um, thank you card that you get with every order as well. And they also sent me a, I believe this is a sample of the new Gucci Bloom perfume. Yeah, it's just a little sample of that, so I'll give that a sniff later on. And then inside, this is the Gucci dust bag, the ribbon that it came with as well. So I did actually wrap this up very carefully when I put it away last night because it is made of a very delicate material. So here we go. Take the bubble wrap off the handle first. Of a tight fit in this bag, and came with this protective wrapping as well. And this is the bag that I chose. This is the Gucci Gigi Marmont Velvet Shoulder Bag in the color. Rubin, R-U-B-I-N, um, in the size small, so this isn't the smallest one, there's a, there's a mini, then there's the small, and then there's the medium, which is really the large, so I don't know what's up with their sizing, sorry about my dogs barking, snoring, you know what it's like in my videos, um, this is a 26 centimeters wide the height is 15 centimeters and the diameter across here is seven centimeters it has the antique uh, gold gg on the front and also on the chain handle but it has a leather uh, shoulder like uh, strap at the top so it's actually like both, like that. Then on the back, can you see? It has the heart detail. And inside, it is coordinating leather on the inside of the flap. And then if I remove the stuffing, it is lined in a kind of light baby pink silk. And there is one zipped pocket 
and that's it. The rest is just an open, um, one open compartment. It's a little bit difficult to close when there is nothing in it because the bag is a little bit smushy. But when you've got all your items in, it's really easy to open and close. Like probably one of the easiest bags that I own to open and close. The strap on this bag uh, can be worn in, I would say, three different ways. Actually four, I suppose. Um, you can either pull the strap up so it's like that. And that is a strap drop of 55 centimeters in total I'm sorry I can't show you completely in frame but I will try and take some photos to go at the end of the video you can double it up like this and that gives you a strap drop of 30 centimeters you can also if you're wearing it like this it can actually be worn crossbody quite comfortably it sits a little high but it doesn't look bad and also obviously you can hold it in the crook of your arm or just in your hand like this it's not too long and it's very comfortable so inside the bag you get um, this little care booklet which just tells you um, how to care for the velvet um, you also get the little control card and also a sample of the velvet now some people don't know what these are for um, I think they are for if you want to colour match your bag to something else um, you have this or more importantly if you want to protect your bag and you want to use any sprays or you know any products on it at all you can test those products on this piece of material so if anything does go wrong it's not going to damage the bag it'll just damage this little swatch so it is useful to keep these um, so yeah, that's what I believe they are for. So the reason that I actually decided to buy this bag was obviously number one was the colour. I just absolutely adore the colour. But also in June this year for my birthday, I actually got this bag here, which I haven't shown you yet, which is another Gucci bag. And this one is the... This one is called the Gigi Marmont Matalasse. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so please excuse me if I'm not. Shoulder bag, and this is in black leather. So I've had this, like I say, since June, and I absolutely adore this bag. Out of all my bags, I think I've got about 20 bags. This bag is my absolute favourite. It's the most comfortable bag I own, the easiest one to open, the easiest one to match with all of my outfits. I love that it's a little bit kind of modern looking, a little bit edgy maybe, and I just adore it. It is just the perfect bag. I, can't, I cannot recommend this bag highly enough. In This is in the medium size, which I believe is the largest size. This large one, is slightly bigger it is 31 centimeters wide 19 centimeters in height and it is the same width which is seven centimeters the small is 26 centimeters across and the medium is 31 so there's not that much in it uh, the height difference is this one's four centimeters taller than the small, yeah, the small. But what I've found with putting my items from this bag into this bag is that they fit pretty much the same. I can fit everything that was in this bag into the new bag perfectly. So as you can see inside this bag, it is the uh, microfiber lining, uh, whereas the purple one has the silk lining this one has the same zipped pocket but it also has this um, slip pocket at the front which is the perfect size for your phone so I have my iPhone 6s here um, 
this is also a Gucci case that my brother got me for my birthday which I absolutely adore so I can take my phone and it just fits perfectly in that slip pocket there I believe judging by the size of that there's a gap at the end I would imagine that would fit the like the six plus or the um, seven plus as well the black leather version has exactly the same um, strap drop um, and you can wear it in the same way as this small one so they they both have the 55 centimeter strap drop which is long enough to wear crossbody or double up to wear on your shoulder one thing to mention is these bags are not structured at all they are really smushy uh, the velvet one actually feels slightly um, more structured but they're both pretty squidgy so the sides on them can get a little bit like popped out it doesn't bother me at all but it is something maybe to bear in mind and some people do worry about the gaps that the flap makes here in case things fall out but I've never had anything fall out of mine since I've had it in June so it doesn't bother me um, one other thing to mention is this bag I quite often wear uh, with the strap doubled up and I will wear it on my shoulder and the bag sits under my arm now I've grown to be a little bit more careful since I've noticed this but this bag where my arm rests on it this can get squashed and sometimes I do notice that this is kind of coming up to almost like a triangle point so I would recommend that when you're not wearing it you do stuff these bags so you can prevent that from happening and maybe to wear it just on your shoulder on the one strap so it's longer and you're not resting your arm on it it doesn't bother me too much but I, I thought you know it might be something worth mentioning because these are such soft bags I love this black bag so much when I got it I also decided to get this uh, it's actually a card case but I've been using this as a small wallet this is I think this is the Matalassi card case or card is it card holder I think it's card case I will check it and put it in the description below but I absolutely love this it goes fantastically with this bag and this one has the GG on the back whereas the bags have the hearts but this is a great little purse it has four card slots here but then it has I've been using this zip section which you can use for coins but I've been using that to hold extra cards because it opens up really wide here so you can fit a good few cards in there there are also um, yeah there's a slip behind the zipped compartment and there is a slip behind the credit card slots on this side and then you also this way have a slip pocket for notes as well so it really is it's a small wallet but they've got it they've got it on the website as a card holder or a card case but this thing is fantastic and it just shuts with a little popper nice and neat easy to fit in your small bags and holds a whole bunch now one thing to mention is that it would seem that yesterday gucci had a price increase this bag when I bought it was um, £1,470. As of yesterday, this same bag is now £1,620. This bag here I paid £1,050 and as of yesterday it is £1,260. So there has been a pretty big price increase for both of these bags um, I'm, I haven't actually checked the price of this but I wouldn't be surprised if this one has gone up as well I think this one was 240 I think um, again I'll check that and put it down below so these have both gone up over 200 pound each now as this price increase only happened yesterday I would seriously recommend if you do want either of these bags or indeed any of the Gucci items 
ring Harrods or ring Selfridges because they may not have put their prices up yet. They may still have the, uh, you know, the slightly cheaper prices. I shop with Harrods a lot um, and you can order over the phone. They're really helpful and they should be able to help you out. And I know that when I called up last week, they definitely had this bag in this colour in stock. So I just thought that was worth mentioning to help save you a few pennies, hopefully. I am just going to wait and see how the velvet wears on this bag because it feels amazing. But obviously being velvet, I'm slightly worried that it is going to wear a bit quicker than the leather. Because the leather on this, even though it is, is it calf skin or lamb skin? This is like this is so hard wearing i am seriously impressed with it i mean i've had a couple of bumps and scrapes on it but to be honest you just like rub them with your finger and they seem to rub out and then you can't see them at all the only place i've noticed any um marks really is here inside on the flat but that's just because i have long nails and sometimes they get scratched but other than that it is seriously holding up amazingly i have been using this bag pretty much every day every time i think to myself i should use one of my other bags i put all my stuff in it and then i can't do it i have to put everything back in this bag i just i love it too much it it just completely trumps all of my other bags at the moment. I just adore it. So I, I know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of this new one as well. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed having a look at my new Gucci Marmont bags. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.